Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeebus Guys, and today we're going to be going through this stuff from probably our best storage unit by far, and one of the best storage units I've ever seen on YouTube, period. So you guys wanted a giant recap, so we spent all day sorting and organizing and researching and whatnot. Let's go through it. There's also quite a few things you didn't see from this unit, too, so there's going to be some new stuff. Let's go through it and just show you what we figured out so far and let you know how you can be one of the ones that buy it because our DMs have gotten blown up. Let's do it. So we're gonna start with the stuff you haven't seen yet, but before we start going through that, go down in the description right now, click the link to the live auction this Saturday because we're gonna be auctioning off a lot of this stuff live on Saturday. <coughs> so for all the people that wanna buy it, make sure you go do that now and set the reminder because that is your chance. Once it's over, it's over and it's gone and you really don't have another chance. So yeah. set that reminder. All right, let's show you a few things that you didn't get to see, such as, you explain it because you know the name more than I do. So this is um, a poster from Garth Brooks and Trisha Yearwood World Tour. So it has both Garth Brooks autograph and Trisha Yearwood's at the bottom. And that's a live signature. <coughs> and we got this one that was in there, this is actually Willie Nelson CD and CD cover and the CD cover, as you can see there, is signed. So this is Willie Nelson CD, Nelson, Willie Nelson and Friends, Stars and Guitars, and the whole thing's in there signed. So that's, that's awesome. Cool. That's really cool. Like I don't listen to country music at all and I know that name very well, so I know he's a big name. Everybody knows Willie Nelson. Alright, now one of our more expensive <laughs> items we found that you have not seen yet is this bad boy. These were right found here. on Baby Jeebus' video, by the way. So if you want to see what else was found in that unit, go to his channel. Yes, go to his channel, because there was quite a few other things in that unit that you didn't see. So yeah. if you want to see him do that, but what's your name? I can't see it from here. Pat Benatar. So this record right here is Crimes of Passion, and she inscribed it, You Rock, with her live signature. So I only found one signed album of hers that <laughs> sold on eBay, and it sold for $310. Only one. So... Like I said, a lot of this stuff's gonna be for sale on auction, but some of it I just don't know yet. And we're gonna have to start these prices high. I'm not letting a $300 item go for 20 bucks. I'm just not doing it. So we're gonna start them high, and if we can't get people to pay high, they're going to eBay, because like I said, there's a lot of money in this stuff, but I wanna make sure I give you people that watch your videos okay. first dibs at it. Yes. All right, to go along with that one, we also got this bad boy here. Same type of thing. It's the record cover, the record, and it's signed right there. What Huey is Lewis a, and the news. Let me get it a little closer for you. Huey Lewis and the news and it's signed <coughs> right down there. So that was pretty sick. Those are the big things that came out of the part that you guys didn't get to see, but there was more. <laughs> also got another signed album here. And this one too, Charlie Pride. And I'm pretty sure we showed that one. Yeah. But now that we have a working mic and clear inside, I just want to kind of show you everything again. Show everything up close. Yeah. Plus, this video freaking crushed for us watch time. It's the best one in the month, and it's only been out for two days, so. But, this one? Huh? Who's this Sheila one? Sheila E. Sheila E. Sorry. No, but, like, the these, like, the part two, part one and part two that you've seen, we figured watch time was going to be high because literally every single box was something super interesting. It was we literally crazy. had, what, like, one box of kitchen stuff and one box of blankets. And a box of Christmas balls. Everything yeah, else? Yeah, and that was it. Like, the, the whole unit was so interesting. Yeah, you don't you know how I understand how heartbroken <clears throat> I was when I got this down and started editing and realized the mic had gone out. I was like, no, no, not today. Yeah. So... I'm hoping you guys can help me with Cottonwood Creek here. I tried to look their name up on sold items on eBay and I can't find any. I don't mean, I don't know if that means nobody likes them or it's a very rare signature. I don't know, but this is Cottonwood Creek signed CD. It's signed by uh, like two or three people too. So it's got quite a few people on it. <coughs> and there's that. So this right here is Diamond Dallas Page. He's like, a, um, I guess, exercise instructor, but He's really well known in the world of fitness, I guess. Let me see it. Let me hear the other stuff. Okay. And then we got Lone Star, Never Enders, and this is signed by all four guys on there. And what we're, all we're showing you right now are the real signatures. There are some signatures that were just prints. We have them in a separate pile, and I'll show you that later on, but I want to show you the good stuff first. Yep. This one right here is a live Bruce Springsteen. It has the blue it. ink on there. 
It's hard to see the blue ink on that cover though. Yeah, his autograph was pretty expensive though. Like I've seen signed CDs that his going for 60 to all the way up is like $180. And that's the authentication. And I know a lot of people said they wanted to know prices on this stuff, but anyone that's ever dealt in autographs, you can know the struggle I'm going through right now. I can look up a certain person. For example, one that was driving me crazy the most was the Toby Keith picture. I found his autograph as cheap as like 15 or 20 bucks and as high as like 180 to 250 for a signed picture. So it's like the market's just really, it just depends on the person. You know what I mean? You might find a buyer that was willing to pay whatever it takes to get it and you might have no one interested in it. So I'm giving you estimations on what I could. What you got? Oh, uh, this was like the country stations backstage pass i guess for it's hall ketchum and rodney atkins signed this one right here one on each side that's pretty cool i remember showing this because um the glass was broken so that's why you see so much dirt down here because i guess the when the glass was broken the dirt got in there but this is a sign man garth brooks against machine man against machine garth brooks and it's the cd in the album cover right here is signed and I don't know if I mentioned it before, but we did a little more digging on the owner of this unit. We're 100% sure they worked for a radio station. That's how they have access to all these people. So we know the legitimacy of the signatures is there because these yep. people were in the studio. You can go on there and look it up. They were all there. That's how he got this many signatures. So they're the real deal. Yeah. This was actually hidden in the suitcase that we opened that looked like it didn't have anything in it. Mm -hmm. So this is big and rich and I didn't think anything of it, but when I opened it, there are signatures on the CD and there's signatures on the back page of like um, the opening cover, I don't know, the cover art. Um, but you have Big Kenny and John Rich, John Rich on there. But also on the back of the cover, there's actually four signatures over there. I see Big Kenny and John Rich again, but there's also two more, and I, I don't know who they are. But yeah, we almost, that almost went in the CD pile, because I didn't think, if it was me and I got a musician to sign it, I wouldn't have closed it back <laughs> up. I would have framed it, you know, with the autograph showing. So that was kind of a weird way to store it. Yeah. But yeah, we got that. What's this guy's name again? I, I, I don't know this one. I, I, knew, I knew the drum head, not this one. I've done, so we've done so much research on musicians today. It's been driving me crazy. You don't even understand. It's just so before our times, but again, live ink on this dude right here. So he's good to go. So this is live ink clip black. And I don't know if I forgot to mention, these autograph pictures are going auctioned off one by one. So be prepared for a long auction on Saturday, a <laughs> yes. long one. We've gotten, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. You don't understand number of messages interested in this stuff. So I don't want to give anyone, you know, you can have it, you can have it, let cheat people out of it. Everyone's hearing this right now. Come ready to bid on Saturday. The link is in the description. 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern time. What do you got? I got Sawyer Brown here. And it looks like we got the group members. Two signatures on that one. Three. Four. Three. Oh, they're all there. Yeah. Look well, there that. should be five. Is there five? I see four from the I back. see one, oh, no, two, there's... three, four, five. There's five. Yeah, they just whoever... signed literally on the black. Yeah, the guy in the middle to sign black on a black <laughs> shirt. So, wasn't the best that choice. That was smart. Um, Jimmy Wayne, live signature. And also Mark Chestnut, live signature. This one right here is a little creased. You can, you can see it. You'll see it more in the auction, but it's creased in the middle. Yeah, but still a nice signature. Nice autograph. Let me show this stuff too before I... I hit it with my elbow. Rodney Atkins. All right, well, let me put this down real quick. <clears throat> I want to show the drum heads up close because they're super nice. So this is the drummer of Kiss, right? Eric Singer. Eric Singer. He Kiss yep. the drummer, right? Well, one of them. Yeah. That's what your mom was telling me. She said she was like, there was two, but we have to figure out who this one is. But we found like where <clears throat> you can order these drum heads specifically to get signed. Like if you know you're gonna go see them or something like that. So. Again, that's a live signature, the drummer at Kiss. Super clean too. Yeah, super nice. So they could tell, that's why they've probably never taken it out of this bag. But they could have chose a better bag than a Buccaneers bag. Like, <laughs> ugh. And we also got this one. Jason Bonham. A Jason Bonham signed drum head. Super, super nice. And the value of the drum heads, like they're just like everything else so all over the place. I've seen them selling for as cheap as like 40 bucks a piece and I saw one with oh, what's his name right here the white one what's his name 
Oh, John Bonham. Or John J Jason Bonham. I Jason keep Bonham. John Bonham. I think sell for name. like over two hundred dollars. So it's just so it depends on the person and the day. You just don't know what you're gonna get. So yeah. all over the place. Who is this one? Travis Tritt. Travis Tritt. <laughs> there it is up close. Really nice signature. So while he goes through like this um, pile of signatures, I'm gonna open up some of these posters. All so right. this is YMT, and it has one, two, three, four total signatures on there. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, it does look good. There's some stains on the back, but most of the condition you'll you'll see close up with the auction. So just pay Plus, close attention before you, you frame bid. it. You'll never see it. Yeah. And then we got this guy here, which is C Cody McCarver. Yeah. That's one name I've never heard of, but. There that is. Aaron Lewis of Stained. That poster has seen better days. <laughs> yeah. But it's a live signature, but yeah, it's pretty ripped on the side. It's probably one of the ones they had up on the wall during the event, because I would do that with UFC posters like yeah. Buffalo Wild Wings and stuff would have the posters up. I'd take them off the wall and go get them signed. So I mean, we, we would honestly go into Buffalo Wild Wings and be like, are you, do you have any extra posters? Because I want the poster. Yep, sure would. No shame either. Toby Keith right here, signed <laughs> picture again. His value of his autograph is just so all over the place, I can't even begin to tell you. Like I said, I've seen him as low as 15 bucks and as high as 200 bucks for a picture. So. We just gotta see. So here's Jewel. So pictures like these I know are from like meet and greets. Yeah, and everything we're showing you so far is still all the lie, the real signatures. She Daisy. Well, I will I'll tell you when we get to the fakes. Or the prints. They're not, I'm not gonna say fakes. They're reprints. People still buy reprints on eBay for between ten and sometimes twenty five dollars for a reprinted autograph. Julian was, Huff. Alright. Blake Shelton. Boom. You guys probably seen him. I think he's a judge on The Voice now. Okay. Um, Craig Morgan. So many, and I think this is the. If somebody Walking kills me, I'm sorry if I'm wrong. I think somebody told me this guy's from The Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. That's one of those shows I've never watched before, but I think that's what somebody told me. Not 100% sure, but that's super fresh. And for some reason, they decided to put this one only in a protective sheet, not the others. I don't really know why. Uh, nope. This one is what's your name? Sugarland. That's her name. I don't, yeah, I don't know if oh, um, Sugarland's a group, and that's like the main person. But I've heard of Sugarland. I just don't know how many people are in Sugarland. If that's a group. Yeah, I didn't know if it was like the paper or what, but that's also a live signature. Those movie posters now. When we get to them. Yep. I, I, you know what? I'll just wait. I'll just wait. <laughs> what you got there? Uh, this is Pam Gillis. On this poster, signature's over here to the left. Well, my left. You can see this poster's a little beat up, like the corners down yeah. here, but again, There's I think this is probably hung. Yeah. I think it I was mean, probably hung. Which, overall, they're not bad conditions. Depending on the collector, can add or decrease the value. The condition's not as good, but the fact that it was actually used at an event can make it more intriguing to some people. So this Oops. is, sorry, these posters are like annoying. Um, this one wasn't signed. This is yeah, Eric is. Lee Bedding Field. Live signature at the top. Right here, it shows what? It says, thanks for the visit. Yeah, Hank FM, thanks for the visit. So that's a right. personalized slightly. Just gotta make sure um, they pull it up right. Here's, this is what, yeah, both of these are the movie posters. All right, this is only one two. of them. So, uh, Let me yeah. hold the bottom for me. I don't wanna get any more damage. These were definitely hung movie posters again. But this is signed by John Travolta. Who else? Kelly Preston, which I believe was his wife at one point, and then Ella Travolta. So the weird thing about the movie posters that I was gonna say is, I can find the 27 by 40, which is a standard movie poster. By the way, you have two of these signed. Yeah. Both of them are signed by them. But I can <laughs> find the standard size movie posters selling for about ten dollars a piece without the signatures. The only sold versions of that that I can find were through auction houses and they won't tell me the winning bid. I can see one of them had like 77 bids on it, but I don't know how much it sold for. But going off of what other stuff John Travolta, like I, I saw a mini version of that on eBay sold for $40 with just his signature on it. So full size movie with four signatures, I'm thinking it's got some good value too, but yeah. we don't know for sure because we've never yeah. seen it sell. All right, 
We got the football here. Amazingly, I talked so much trash about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but a lot of people were interested. We got a lot of messages about this ball right here. But this one does, since it was ordered from the NFL's website, you get a certificate of authenticity with it. I mean, most of this stuff's not gonna have certificates, obviously, because he worked at the station, so he knows the real. Yeah, I wonder if it was like a prize for a fan. Maybe. Like if you got like a VIP thing. Yep. But this guy's autograph on footballs have been selling for between 40 and as much as 100 bucks, including shipping. So, again, somewhere in that range. Remember, we're only 500 bucks in the unit, so yep. <laughs> this is this is looking good. <laughs> Let's go through some of this stuff here. This person I still never heard of. Do you remember? Did you look this one up? No. I Sixem, really didn't either. Sixem Murder Vintage is the album. Yeah, I didn't really look this one up either. But I just knew it was live ink on it, so... Again, we set it aside, but that's nice signed. Then, one of the few people I do have heard of, Sting, who's a wrestler. It's hard to see the signature, there you go, in the light. But the package is signed, it's a little bit dusty, and it's got some damage on the I'm side. I'm to see what year the figure's from. Uh, 2010. 2010. But I guess he signs a lot, because his signature is not crazy expensive. It, the average is on a figure from like 25 to 75. I saw one that sold for 110, but that was kind of the outlier. Usually about 50 to 75 dollars or so on his. And then we got Chris Gaines. Somebody told me this was whose alter ego it's or something. It's Garth Brooks. So you see on the album actually it says Garth Brooks as Chris Gaines. And I didn't realize that because I've never yeah. heard of Chris Gaines before. But yeah, that's signed CD and thing. This one, I don't even know who all these people are again. But look, there you can see it. These are all live signatures in different colors and everything. So. so the only signature I can read is the William Lee Golden. The other ones I can't really <laughs> read, but all signed. And what else do we have on that side? So we have this bat, of course. That crinkling a lot. But this is signed by Negan from The Walking Dead. I can't remember uh, the actor's full name, like Jeffrey Dean something, but he actually has Negan and then like an inscription, I guess, of his like catchphrase in the show. So that's pretty cool. These are selling for between two and as much as $350. So that's a good that's find crazy. on these with this signature on it too. And that was with the ones I saw that sold were with no inscription. This one has, like she said, the catchphrase and stuff. So that one might be worth a little bit more. I haven't decided 100%. Like, if I want to auction this one <laughs> off, like, if I do, it's going to have to have a start, a high starting price because yeah. I can't let let it go cheap. It's worth quite a bit of money. And that's the figure there. Yeah. So this is, this is Jeffrey Dean, whatever. Gosh, I can't remember his last name. Oh, yeah. Jeffrey. <laughs> the Batman. So it's, what's his name again? We found um, it out. Neil Adams. Neil Adam. What we also found with looking at it with this magnifying glass is the picture itself, the Batman, is printed but the signature is actual ink. Yeah. So they printed out, this is not like an original sketch or nothing, unfortunately, which would have made it worth, I saw one sell for $1,100, which is, yeah, it was really disappointing to find out. But this is still worth, I mean, I've seen his signatures go for as low as, again, like 25 bucks on some pieces and as high as three, 400 on others. But that's definitely his signature on there. It's just, unfortunately, a printed, not a original letter on, which kind of sucked. All right. We still got the watch here with the mystery signature that no one's been able to figure out yet. Just the mystery signature on here. That could be a freaking thousand dollar autograph for some <laughs> random guy in the corner. I have no idea. But if you couldn't see in there, rock and roll, platinum, little guitar watch. These have sold on eBay for about 25, 30 bucks or so. So not like overly expensive, but that's with no autograph. I don't know whose autograph that is. That is a, that's oh, really things. annoying. It's from 2004, so. Who was popular in 2004 in either rock or country that starts with an M? You guys let me know, because that's definitely starting with an M right yeah. here. I mean, it says 2004, but I just, I don't know. Ah, there's too many people. All right, so now let's get into the bad news. These? Yeah, this stack right here, these are all reprints. They're not real signatures. I mean, so I can yeah. Go through them a little bit. So what it is, if you never heard of people doing this, that's prints. So sad. <laughs> They take an autograph picture they have that's legitimately signed and just scan it and then they reprint it and sell it like that. So these for are like, like I said, 10 to 20 bucks depending on yeah. who it is. And I wanted to ask you people that watch our videos, are there, should we lock these up into a big lot or separate them out? Because I don't know how many interest, how much interest people have in, in reprints. reprints yeah. yeah. The live autographs are going one by one. 
But these, unfortunately, are reprints, and I just don't know. Like I said, it's not lots of people collect them, which I, I was surprised at. They said they sell pretty consistently on eBay at 10 to 25 bucks a piece. That's crazy. Yeah. There's another group. But we were just sitting here like experimenting with all these autographs. These are the ones that were 100% printed. Yeah. This one, like some of these were in frames so when we took them out. Yeah. If there if it was a real signature, we left it in the frame. If it was a reprint, I took it out because, you know, shipping the frame is going to cost us just as much as a reprint's worth. So this one I was kind of surprised was uh, a reprint because the owner actually had a lot of signatures from Garth Brooks, like Live Ink. So I was kind of surprised that that was a reprint, but it That's is. That's kind of cool. This is kind of cool. So this right here, this whole first page. See, my thing is, I don't know if the page is a reprint and this is real. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. So this is the Sons of Anarchy like pilot book, I guess, for their the show. Yeah. So I guess everybody in the show signed it on the front and then the rest of the script, which is, I don't know, kind of cool. I mean, yeah. definitely for Sons of Anarchy yeah. fan. But you know what I noticed about this is that this front page is a different kind of paper yeah. than the rest of the script. That's so, why I wasn't yeah, sure. Yeah, like what you said. And the fact that it's got these pins in it and the holes punched on the side makes me wonder, is this an authentic script from the pilot? Or is it a re... I don't know. This one, so, I don't know. I know these are printed autographs. Those yeah. are not real autographs. Yeah. We know that much. So just to say some of the information on the inside. FX Networks. It has, I guess, the address of FX Networks. It has 103107 Network 9th Draft 2007. All rights reserved. Yeah. I mean, like I said, if it's a real pilot, it might be have some value to it. But I don't know. But those autographs, unfortunately, are 100% printed on that page. They're not live ink, unfortunately. Yeah. So this is, I learned John Bon Jovi in the middle. So that's Prince. reprint. This is a reprint. But so that bad. looks really cool. I like all the silver ink on that one. Yeah, so they so look really, really good, nice. just because they're not live This signatures. is probably one of the best reprints that we saw with Steven Tyler and his guitarist, I'm assuming. This one... Heart. This one was so sad that it was a reprint. <laughs> the Highwayman. With Johnny Cash, and I got so like, ah. Uh. So this one, we actually, there was um one eBay like shipping label that we saw. This one was bought for like $10. Yeah. So, Highwayman. Um, this one, I still don't know who that is. I couldn't tell by the signature who it was. This one still looks like Tim McGraw to me, and that's a reprint. And then Ada has like the Beckett certification. That's reprinted on this photo paper. Yeah, if it was real, that would be a sticker. <laughs> yeah. But print again, it's so sad. Both of the prints ones we found were both reprints, unfortunately. So we don't have us a print signature. This lady, I don't know who that is. Do you know who this guy is? I do not. He looks like the dude. Like, I feel like, like I've seen him on Netflix. Yeah, I know. Can I show this one? Which one is that? Yeah, it's not showing nothing. So she looks really familiar, but I I can't tell who it is. This one they took to the next level. They even added like fading into this, but if you take a magnifying glass and you look up at it, you can see the pixelation in the signature then to know that it's actually printed on there and it's not an authentic autograph. So yeah. unfortunately that's a print too. So this is <laughs> That's the this one, that one I'm still like we're still on the fence about this one. So there's there's certain things that look like live signature and certain things that may suggest otherwise. So we're literally like 50-50 with the certainty of this being a reprint or not. Yeah, I'm just not sure. This is the only one I just can't figure out. I'm just not sure. Like, there's like there's so many things. For one, you can see that, that a signature is raised off the page. It looks like it's slightly raised. But then it also... Something they, t they look for is like when you're writing a live signature with a pen, is like when you turn the pen, you don't realize it, but you press down harder. So if you look closer at like say, where this turns to the side, you can see that it's actually darker there, which would mean they, it was like representative live ink, but it, it also looks like know. it's on there. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is this one's up in the air. That's up in the air right now. But you when we auction it, I'm gonna have to auction it as reprint because I'm not sure. And yeah. 
And this one actually, this is the one that had the eBay packing slip on the back. But this one was valued about $10 too. So this is a reprint of The Grateful Dead with Bobby Ware and John Mayer. But this was bought quite a while ago, so yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure the prices are higher now. Yeah. But, yeah. So those are all the reprint signatures. So again, you guys let us know if you want us to break those up or you want us to just sell them as a giant lot because there'd be no interest in reprints. You guys gotta let us know. Yeah. And what else do we got over here? So we have uh, these microphones. These microphones? I don't know how, I don't even like know how to look these up. Of us and we do the video from right here. here hey, go. welcome to the Treasure Hunter Jeepers, everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sound like a baseball commentator. <laughs> I just gotta purposely sound as boring as possible. <laughs> All right, the Yankees are up in the third <laughs> inning, and it looks like Jeepers well, gonna be like, hit. Oh my God, they hit a home oh, run! Oh wow, like so fake sounding there. Oh wow, the grand slam for a win in the seventh <laughs> game of the World Series. Oh, like get excited! You're watching the World Series live and commentating. They've for gotten it. better over the years. The commentators have gotten better. This one, I don't know crap. why it was in a frame. You guys help us out. This is an Alabama record. The record is in there. There's no signature on it, but I don't. I just don't know if it's like a rare record or what. Because, like I said, it's in there. It's in the sleeve. It's a complete record. But for some reason, this was framed by itself with no signature, which was kind of odd to us. So, you guys that are more into records and stuff, let us know about that. So, this case right here is uh, Michael hey. Jackson. And it had all the CDs in it, but it looks like there's mold in here, so we might have to scrap this case. But <laughs> also, here's like the little book it comes in. And mm -hmm. then the little jackets on the inside are kind of like off the spine, so it really doesn't stay in there. But there's tons of CDs in there. Yeah, that, that thing's like $100 to $130 on eBay. Which is crazy. It has apparently so, it's DVDs and music CDs in there. Okay, so one, yeah. what is it, like 20 cents? I think so, I don't remember exactly, but like I said, it's a, it goes for between 100 and 120, $130 on eBay, and that's used. So that's okay. pretty cool. Here, th this is all that what it contains. There's a whole list of mm -hmm. all the discs and DVDs and but what's on them. That'll definitely be up for auction too. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is gonna go up for auction, but you see it start high and nobody bids, and I'm just gonna have to put it on eBay because I'm not taking that chance of selling a two, $300 item for 20 bucks. It's just not happening. Yeah. I can barely see you guys under here. Well, if you can't tell what this is, this is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven boxes full of comics we got. And we left the most important one sitting right over there. And it is over there. All right, but let's get that one. <laughs> there's seven boxes. Let's show me, let me show that one first. Or can you get it up closer? Yeah, I'll get it up close. So this is Dead Man. It says one of six, three ninety nine. Neil Adams. So Neil Adams actually <laughs> actually signed it at the bottom of there, and we compared that to the signature at the bottom of the Batman drawing as well, and it's the same one. So yeah, the, he's the illustrator for the book. His name's down here in the bottom of the book, and then he signed the bottom of it too. So far, that's the only signed comic we found, but we're sitting on easily. A thousand or I think over a thousand comic books and yeah, we have very just now getting through the music aspect of this Yet alone searching through a thousand books. So it's Wednesday night right now We're hoping to get through some of these and have some lots ready for the auction on Saturday too for you comic people But let's just kind of let me just kind of skim through and show you what we got Let's start at the first box all the way over here You can't even see it on camera because we can't fit them on <laughs> on the shot That's how many comics we're dealing with here, but I'm just gonna take a few out of this box uh, and this one's kind of bent, but it's an Iron Man dollar twenty-five price tag on it. There's so many books. So I'm gonna stand up and pull some out of these other boxes. Now I want to ask a favor for you guys that are into comics. Most of these books seem to be from around the '90s, maybe late '80s, but for the most part, yeah. Like this Spider-Man one I see right here is from '87, late '80s and '90s. You guys that are into comics. Let us know if there's any particular titles we should look out for when we're skimming through these. Like we said, we're going to be doing our own research too, going through, trying to make sure we don't have no $100,000 comic in here. If we don't, like I said, we'll do what we usually do. We'll add them up in the group to like 40 50 and we'll auction them off just like that. Starting at 20 bucks, and whoever can get them can get them. So this is kind of weird. This is very random. But there's yeah. 12 jumbo push pins in the back of this one comic book box. And this whole box over here, from what I can see, is like all... Spider-Man comics and this one's right here 75 cent comic from 1987 so there are some older ones in here but we just have not had the time to go through them all yet which we're gonna try to do 
We're gonna try to do, but the times vary. This one's from 1994. This one's from 93. This is some more aliens. There's a lot of Superman in here too. This Superman right here is from 85. No 30s, unfortunately. No actual copy number one that I've seen yet. Terminator. Terminator. There's also some music comic books I've never seen, like a Prince one. When I looked the Prince comic up, that single book was worth like 25 bucks. So we're, you know, when you say you want a thousand comics, you kind of really gotta do a lot of research because it only takes, like I said before, during the video when we were recording it live, it only takes one random comic to pay for everything. That's the beauty of it. Here's one I've never seen. It's called Badlands. Hmm. Huh. Never seen that before. And I mean, we got Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, and then we also got a lot of new Titans. You guys want to know how young I am? I didn't even know that. I just figured out yesterday that Teen Titans was made off of New Titans. So I'm pretty Did sure you know Teen Titans are the teen version yeah. of New Titans. I had never heard of New Titans in my life. <laughs> that's how young I am. Here's a Simpsons comic. Yeah, that's the one that says issue number one, isn't it? Keep that out. I wanted to look that up. Issue number one. There's Simpsons. There's everything in these boxes. So Terminator. Again, you guys that are into comics, please tell us what to look for when it comes to comics. If you would want to see another video, I know some people are like love diehard comics. Some people are really not into them like that. Yeah. Let us know. But all I can say is a thousand plus comics. Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, Simpsons, music. See, like you said, this is weird to see. It's weird to see an action comic. Yeah, I see. I hate when I see the I just see Superman in action comics. Like these are from the 1990. You guys that are into this, let us know. Comics have been one thing I've never been into in my life ever. But I just know that they're hit or miss. They're either worth 50 cents or worth $50,000, and there's like a few in between. Spider Man, Superman, Doom, Justice League, Robin. I mean. There's everything. Everything you expect. All your Justice, I mean, yeah. all your superheroes, guys. I can't go through all of them. If you want to see, maybe in another video, whenever we, we finally get them, which who knows how long that's going to take with this many of them. Every single one of these boxes are full and they have like between two and four hundred comics. So thousands on the low end. There could be fifteen hundred or and more. I don't know. I'd say the majority of them are in a protective case. Oh yeah, like which literally is good. like ninety-five percent of them, not like sixty. I'm talking I've seen maybe like five or ten total that are not in protective sleeves, so they were taken care of for sure. Yeah. But guys, I don't know what else to do. I'm gonna have to end the video there. Again. Go click the bell. Make sure you're ready for this Saturday because I know a lot of you people have been driving us. Not crazy, but you know what I mean. You've been messaging us like crazy about this stuff. So you want your chance to brawl it out for this stuff? Set the notification reminder for this Saturday, guys, because it's going down. Damn, going if you down. enjoyed the video, leave it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, peace out.